All right, welcome back, Oakland A's franchise series. Last episode was a little quick one. We just got in, got the game over with, took a L. We lost one nothing, zero to one, however you want to put it. We just we didn't take we didn't take good pitches. We swung too much at everything. So uh, this episode, we're gonna take a look at our team. We're gonna look and see. Almost at the end of the month. Three days left in the month. That's wrong. Four days. Let's see. Is there anywhere we can improve our team? Starting pitchers. All right. Three point three. He's two and two. Cole Irvin is one and four this year. He's not off to a good start. He's two and one. He had a complete game shutout with us. That was his only win. And then he had a complete game shutout. He had like seven in his pitch shutout. And then Angelo Torres is killing it. We're supposed to use him. Um, relief pitchers. So Honeywell is essentially a relief pitcher. Um... 5.9 ERA, good lord. Clay Holmes, John Curtis, Paul, Black Paul Blackburn. Uh, 4.8. We just, jeez, are they blowing saves? No. Oscar Aria, 7.1. That's because he's probably giving up one run, two runs, and he's only pitched three innings, so that's not bad. Four, 18 innings. 10 and 8, eight 18 innings. Mm. 8. AJ Puck. He's not. I mean, we didn't do bad with him. Really didn't do bad with him. Danny Jimenez. He's killing it right now. 8 saves. Yeah. Um. Okay. We don't really use a closer. Catcher John Murphy, Sean Langlier. Hmm. Not good with lefties, but neither is he. C.J. Rodriguez. He's batting a one four three. Lawrence Butler. So how was Shane? He was 250. Eight games. Why only eight games? He's played. Why is he only play? Yeah, why is he only playing eight games? Unless the computer alters the lineup. Alright, first baseman. Max Muncy. Mike Freeman. How many games? So I bet they're throwing him at first. When we simulate. I bet that's what's happening. So what I'm going to do. We know he could play first. We're going to edit. General, first base. We're adding first base to it. Because we know we can play first. We played, every game we played, we've had him at first. Yeah. And then maybe the computer will quit putting this guy in. Shout out noise. Jeremy Ironman. He's played in seven games. Robert. No, who's our is he our starter? Oh, killing it. He's gone up. 
Christian Pasha, Tim LaCastro. He's gone down, I believe. All right, so if we was going to make a tree. Hmm. Do we have any pieces down here? 21-year-old Joey Estes. 23-year-old 20, Gunnar Hoagland. How's he doing down there? Four games, one win. It'll ten iron run of three. I mean we could we could probably trade him. What about JT again? Four games. Ten iron run of four oh three. Ryan Kusick. He's three and oh. 1.5 ERA. All right, let's see. I want to see somebody I want. Let's see. He's gone up to a 91, so he's probably the starter. Huh? Could I get him? Could I get him? He is their best player. It would take a lot. I mean, we'll throw in Frankie Montas. Definitely not a good trade-off. So we'll have to throw in a prospect as well. Do we go Kusick? 1.5 ERA right now, currently. Hmm. We go Gunner. Joey? No. What are they? They need a catcher. Rodriguez? He's 22. I don't want to come off Sean Murphy, though. And they need a first. We don't have a first baseman. Center field. That would be one I'd, I'd be willing to give up Masio. Rod Warner. Yeah, we drafted him. No, we're not coming off of him. Hmm. Adolfo Valenzuela. It's close. Jonathan Aranda. I don't. That in a three thirty nine. Brandon's easier to get. I do like Freddie Peralta as well. I would like to get Brandon though. Do we come off Josh Gunn? I just want to say, yeah, definitely not Angelo. Hmm. You yeah, see how big of a part is he? Is 
a huge part. We'll take both of them. What about a relief pitcher? Do we have one? Jim Harper? We don't have nobody worth. Richard Chow? It's gonna take. It would take both of them. I can't do that. Really would take you anybody. Hold on. We ain't gonna be able to get him. There's no way. I'm not giving that up for him. Even, I mean, I like him and all. All right, let's see what we can do. I 
How hard would Dustin maybe? Oh shit. Could possibly get Gavin Lux as well. Yo, I'm probably going to do this. So give him Frankie Montas. Which is a little bit better than Dustin May, short term, not long term. Gabriel Masiel, which is probably not no, not gonna be as good as Bellinger. <laughs> And Logan Davidson for Gavin Lux. Both 25. Bro. We did it. Alright. I don't know what the Dodgers was thinking. But I'm not mad at it. Because that definitely gives us... With him and... Him and Torres for the future. Why are they mad? I don't know, but pitching rotation now is going to be Dustin May. Lineup now is going to be what that does do, though. Bellinger can play right. Or first. So we'll go.
William knife man. Oh, Yo, what up, wicked? Oh. What you doing, bro, bro? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. So Kellen, it needs to come out here. No, he. Well, it don't matter. We don't. There's DH everywhere. Yeah, 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 I'm the Oakland A's. The Oakland A's. I just made a trade, so I'm trying to... Trying to set my roster up before I jump in a game. That's good. It's crazy, but I think we're good. All right, we're three and three and a half games back. We're three and seven in our last ten games. We got to turn this around. Oh, we got the Yankees against Nestor Cortez. Let's go check out our rookie. I gotta look. Oh, so Dustin May is gonna be tired. So we need to put Dustin May in between Lorenzen and Caprillion. Let me go do it real quick. I will forget. Yeah. All right. But I definitely will forget. Who was the guy from the A's in the 90s that told on everyone for using steroids? Oh, probably, uh, was that, um... Dang. I have to look it up. What's his name? Just about ready to go. And our starting pitcher here today, Nestor Cortez Jr. I can't think of his name. A really good outing it's on the tip of my tongue. Right. He, uh, he does celebrity boxing as well. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it this is the guy I'm thinking of. Me think. Makes the grab on the run, and there's one down. It starts with a C. And now it's Gavin Lux. Cortez, Cortana. In the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. 
No score just getting started top of the hmm, first. I can't remember. And that one wrapped foul. Pitch misses, and that's Two, ball right. one. Um, try to think. That's Next ball. one in the dirt. I got to count two and two. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up. Takes it himself. Um. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Here's Jerry Kelvin. I could I could picture him. Nope. First That's offering ball. misses the mark. Counts one and oh. Jose Canseco. I knew it started with the C. That's it. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next Two offering balls. misses down and away. plate that time. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. All right, check. Now a check swing on three and one. Appeal to third. And Matthew Ross right on it says he held up. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So if all down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. The 0-1. Line mm. drive, base hit. Bobby Vanilla. And that'll put runners at the corners with two. Yeah, he told on everybody, didn't he? So wasn't he the one that told on? Uh, and here is Sheldon Noise, homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. McGuire. First offering. Do you want to tote on Barry Bond? I can't remember. And a pitch. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. God, he's so slow. Oh, that was a third out. I know that was third out. And a man left. Back to the Bronx. And now the shortstop, DJ LeMayhew. All right, check out our first our rookie right here. Oh, he's got a, what, he's got a submarine pitch? Oh, snap. I'm out of here throwing a submarine pitch. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh boy, I can't locate with this guy. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. All right, it's gonna be interesting. I like his pitch style. Though. And now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time. A little anxious. Labor Torres at the plate and, and takes high there. This one popped up. Muncie under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. And up next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Stanton, the guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how this one swung on and hit well way back there and it hits the base of the wall and the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away now batting Mitch Hanniger oh boy fouled off he was late
Yo, what up, what up? Yo, what's up? Dude, recording an episode for this franchise. You should see this picture. Remember I told you I picked a picture in the first round? He had like an a or a B potential, 19-year-old. I think he was mm -hmm. I think he was the one that had like he was 72 overall, had 70 potential. This one popped up. Yeah. Well, he's my he's fifth in my rotation. So, and today's the day to pitch with him. Yeah, I kind of like him. He's got a submarine style. <laughs> it's a start pitch, you, uh, with the start pitcher. <laughs> oh, it, that's what came on him. Yeah, I didn't change nothing. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sick. Do you um edit your videos or do you? I record them and then put them on. Do you just put them straight on? Yeah, I record them and then. But I don't cut them up or nothing. Uh, that's, what, that's what I meant, I guess. Nah, I should. But I'd, I'd have to buy a uh, program and stuff. What are you working on? Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one I can of those get free. guys who uh, just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. I can get free editor. You know I don't know nothing about all this stuff. Is that coming through? That's coming through the party on your side, too, then. Yeah. That's that guy I worked with. Trying to get him in here. Oh, I just, I just jumped on. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing right now. I didn't mean for him to fucking <laughs> join. Fuck. I mean, with Kenny's cool, but hey, you I did, messaged all him you did, All you did was uh, just go went to the old party. You didn't start a new one. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Yeah, so whenever you're messaging in this, it sent it to but everybody see, that's messaged, already been added. But no, I messaged him personally. Oh. And then his reply to my message went to, he replied in the party chat. Gotcha. Right, so I, I, that's why I joined it because I sent him a message and then I joined because oh, I was going to join you. Probably. I was going to join you up, you know, and then I was like, well, hell, if I join this party and he's already in it, maybe he'll join. Well, no, probably what, what it and is. He started a party with me. Oh, he started with me. I'm, I'm going to invite you out. Yeah. He's on PS4. Gotcha. Um, no, nah, this is on PS5. <laughs> I like this picture, but good lord, it's so tough. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. In the air, center field. Ah, shit! Think about it as well with this guy. You know how like fast pitches, like when when you pull it down, it goes fast. Yeah, his is like that as well. So it's like everything I like. Oh my god, I forgot what I was doing the other night before I got off. Well, the other night, you know, I told you I got back on. Uh -huh. I went through and put in buy orders for every Yankee except for the two diamonds. Cause I was like, hell, I can go in there and get Gary Sanchez. I haven't Anthony Rizzo. Oh, I took Anthony Rizzo off. Well. But I was thinking about getting Gary Sanchez and finishing the Yankees collection. Uh-huh. And then having Gary Sanchez. Actually, it would be better right now because the price on Gary Cole dropped. I just, I just, uh, I just made a trade with the Dodgers. I kind of feel... Stays alive. I feel like I cheated. 
You take advantage of the Dodgers. I but I mean, I I traded the um, my not my my tear my pitcher. You know, nope. pitcher of the A's is. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. Anyway, I'm about not Manaya. No, you're talking about a. Oh my god, I went blank. I always had him in fantasy in baseball, and I, didn't, I don't have him. Is it Montero? No. Is it Montero? No. It's not Montero, no. It's, he throws a splitter. He couldn't get his mic to connect. I forgot. Anyway, I traded him. A prospect. I forgot his name. Hell, I can look at it right here. But right here on the roll. For whatever reason, I get Montas, Frankie Montas. Yeah. So I traded Montas. Fuck, I forgot who all I traded. Anyway, I traded Montas, a center field prospect, and. Um, second base prospect for Bellinger, Gavin Lux, and Dustin May. Yeah, just the fact that you got Dustin May in it. Right, I didn't think I'd be able to get him. And then they they, they were throwing Bellinger in there. I was like, okay. Oh, they was letting me throw Bellinger in there. I need some power. I need some pop. I have nobody with power. Like, bona fide power. And, and, uh, and then I was like, well, shit. Let me see if I can get, you know, a solid infielder. For a few, uh, you know, stick around for a few years. Yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. He said his uh, headset's messed up. I heard him clicking it. Yeah, he was clicking it. But, uh, I asked him, I don't know what time. He might be off work tomorrow. This is a safety coordinator. He's got a pretty good job. He has his own office and shit up there. Yeah, hey, Scooter's right on me tomorrow, so we'll try to get done early so I can get home early. Oh, you gonna ride with you tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna come over here later on. But you, uh, you off Friday, though, ain't you? Tomorrow is Friday. Oh, fuck, tomorrow is Friday. So I'm gonna want to talk to No, I'm not off. So tomorrow's a short day, then? Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna ride with me and try to get done early. If he can keep me awake, he means I won't be stopping to take no nap, at least. Yeah. I want this fucking Rizzo, motherfuckers. I got Woodruff, I say. <laughs> hey. He actually pitched good, though. I just, I mean, five innings, though. Only two two strikeouts. Did he only go five? See, I left to go watch Chaston's baseball game, so I got to watch, like, the first two innings. Yeah, it was five shutouts. Did, did you see that video, though? It was funny. It was funny as hell, because... Everybody was like, Chaston was on deck, and uh, the girl in front of us said, did you hear Chaston hit a home run yesterday? And was like, no, what do you mean Chaston hit a home run yesterday? Like, yeah, in practice, he hit it over the fence. And I was like, what? Chaston's never hit a ball over the fence. Yeah, sure he's, always had, he's always had power, you know? Uh -huh. And then he, he gets up to bat, everybody, and then all the parents start saying, yeah, Chaston hit one over the fence yesterday. I'm like, oh, my God. And he gets two strikes on him. It's like two and two. And I was telling him, his coach was trying to tell him, he said, don't hit it. <laughs> I'm sorry. His coach was like, don't, he was like, don't hit it at B. He said, hit it back at the pitcher. Because last year, Chaston's problem was he wouldn't swing the bat. And I'd have to tell him, dude, you're in Little League. These umpires are going to call everything a strike if you don't swing the bat. And um, sure enough, I looked at her. I said, oh, shit, I got a good feeling. Like, I start, my body started getting, like, red. Uh -huh. And uh, boom, torqued that bitch straight away center. It probably never got under 25 feet. It stayed like 20, 25 feet high. Line shot straight over the fence. 
I was like, oh my god, it's funny how all the parents are sitting here talking about it. And usually when everybody's talking about it, it don't happen, you know what I'm saying? Because you're like, oh yeah, you know, he hit one yesterday and, and you're probably thinking about it. Yeah. And he gets up again with a 2-2 two -two count. And the, I was, he always does that. I don't know why. He always wastes the two strikes because he wants to swing the damn bat for whatever reason. And a pitcher throws one in. And he fucking drilled it at the second baseman, and the second baseman just moved out of the way. <laughs> it went all the way to the fence, right? He was like, no, hell no, I ain't getting in front of that ball. And he got a double, and they won four to one, and Chaston drove in three runs. Damn. He got, he got picked off at second, but I was joking with him, because I always call him slow. Because when I was his age, I hit home runs, you know. Like, I hit like 12 home runs in my last year at Little League. Yeah. And... And I was really fast, so like I always mess with chest, and I'm like, yeah, you know, good, good thing you hit a home run, cause you ain't got to worry about being too slow if you're just walking around the bases, you know. Cause, you, cause, you know, my thing's always been speed, so I give him hell because he's he's talented. Hell, he's probably more talented than I was. He pitch, he's a lot better pitcher than I was at his age. But my thing was speed, so I got to give him hell. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then he gets picked off on the bases, and she was like, he's so mad. And I was like, yeah, but he's got to understand that in Little League, running bases, you're either really good at or you got a lot to learn. chest has got a lot to learn because he's not fast. Oh, that was nasty. He's a... He, I mean, he hit a home run Tuesday, too, but it was inside the park. It was a Little League home run, you know? Yeah. So now he's got he's got two home runs. <laughs> oh, so he's a little Yankee, league home the Yankees run. don't have Judge right now. They got Mitch Hanniger. Uh-uh, they traded Judge for Mitch <laughs> What the fuck is going well, on? I, I, think, I think Judge, judge, judge was uh, in free agency. Oh, he's a free agent. That's right, he's a free agent, yeah. How many hits we got? Three hits, one run. What's his pitch count? Yep, Sixty at least. Forty? Oh god, we got to run his pitch count up. I'm swinging for the next pitch right after saying it. Makes sense. So now I got Bellinger and Max Muncy. <laughs> Do you hear me? Huh? I said, so now I got Bellinger and Max Muncy. Really? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't oh, the Max good Muncy. You, Oh, you got Max Muncy from the A's, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He's not, he, Max Muncy ain't on the Dodgers, though. He's a free agent. I guess they realized they didn't need him since they got Freeman. No, yeah, let's say, let me fucking check that. Oh, is Bellinger up next? No, but. Oh, is that Bellinger? Yeah, Bellinger's next. 78 mile an hour slider, not fucking with. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Squeezes it. Two away down. Here's Cody Bellinger. Come on, Bellinger. First pitch, not close. Muncie off the first with two away. Pickoff throw. Muncie gets back easily. At the ball. next offering misses. Two and oh. Two oh. And that one. Oh, that would have been a homer too, I bet. 
just early. He pitches slow. I don't know why I'm rushing. Good pitch. It's only downside about Bellinger, though. I didn't even think about it when I traded for him. I have too many. I have a lot of lefties now. They got Josh Bell, too. You want to join man's party? Uh, oh, he had a lot of shit going on in there earlier, so I'll, I'll wait till after. I have two people in there. Oh. Him and Rome. Yeah, uh, if you want to join it, just uh, tell him I'll join it after I finish recording. Alright. Well, I mean, I, I'll wait. Right. Let me jump in there and tell him real quick. Yeah, that's fine. That bobble screwed it up. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. A new heart stands in now and lets that one go. I really like this pitcher. I ain't gonna lie. Next pitch misses. Ball one. Right into the plate. Hard hit left side. Into the outfield base hit. Ben Wortbeck will hit next. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game. They'll talk it over. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That last storm to come through. Pitch. Made that song gonna shine to the neighbors, huh? That one in for a strike two and two. Rizzo at second. A new heart. So I had to come replace it. Ground ball up the middle. Lux handles the chance. They get the force. And that hit. Top six. Now batting Tim Locastro. The pitch. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And that's a swing according to umpire Matthew Ross. I know it'd be a check. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a foul ball, he Early. stays alive. Fuck. The pitch. Fuck. Good eye right there. Two -two. Yep. Too much air. Wait, I cannot get him on base. Good pitch. Hits 
swing. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. <laughs> Up the middle. Torres handles. Now the throw to first on the run. Two Gavin Lux got some speed, too. The the Good late fight on that slider. Got the hitter out. Oh, 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 exactly oh, what he was supposed to do. Here's Jerry Kelman. Check under that comfort table or over on my plug-in. And that one pulled foul. Damn. Just early. If I could time them, I'm getting them. Swings through that one above oh, the zone. That looked like a case of deciding oh. to swing no matter what. That pitch was way off. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something oh, up that he out. can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMahieu. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. That one off the mark, two and one. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. three ball count down in the ball game you've got to be very selective take your walk if they'll give it to you got him down on strikes and he knew it labor torres up to the plate and yeah, he's already singled in this game in there for first hit that blue one. torres a guy the yankees acquired for her role this chapman back in 2016. he is fearless you can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years Next pitch just misses. Now one and Can't two. complain. He gave us the first one. Yeah, foul ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And two away now. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with the base runner. Could become dangerous. I hung it. Crushes one out to left. That one is gone. Damn, I hung it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition. He saw exactly where that was going to be. Yeah, I hung one. Home run ties things up. Pitching change here, Aaron Sanchez. He's pitching on two days rest. All right. to to Nothing fast. Now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. That's the third, and it finds its way through for a hit. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. It's just nice. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And that's a base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Jeremy Ironman, the next to hit, one for two. The ground is short, could be two. Off balance, beat. here's one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Next up for the A's, Max Muncy. And first off. 
offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And Good pitch, bro. Hell of a pitch. Ninety pitches. I don't want to go over one hundred two. I'd like to get out of this inning, though. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Down in order. Golden. Ready to begin the eighth. Digging in for Oakland. Lazaro Armenteros. Offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for this is going to drop from the top to the bottom. Speed off the bases. Hmm. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. And a quick out, number one. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. Sure, he feels really good about that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Rolando Rizzo, and they got him. Sacrifice bunt. And now it's Gavin Lux. Down fair ball on the second, but it's in there. Safe. A run comes in on the play. And now the right fielder, Jared Kelman. You asshole. Intentional walk here with two out. It's all right. Noise can hit him. Langlier. Yeah, he can hit a homer. He has zero homers this year. Let's get his first. Stands in with two away as he takes the ball right there. Check swing, but he count went too far. One. And a count one and one. Oh. Next offering in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. to center field on Duhar moving in on this one pulls it in on the run and that is that Hayes did one on the RBI double and the whole team back in the Bronx here's Miguel and Duhar new pitcher on here John Curtis and he'll work on holding this lead going around. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. At the 
belt and fire. Bounced out to short, lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there. But right, at least he stopped it, right? Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Hopped up. One away. Now it's the shortstop, DJ LeMahieu, known for his late-inning heroics. That one's in there, 0-1. On Duhar stands at first with one out. Tapped softly on the ground. Oh, behind the back. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Let's go. Inning. Oh. Let's go. Back at Yankee Stadium. All set to start the ninth of this one. Leading off. They're Sheldon keeping him in there? Swing and a miss. Oh, and strike one. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Now the count oh, is three. even. Next pitch oh, is outside. Down. Two balls and a strike. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And here is Jeremy Ironman. One for three. hitter for Oakland, Sean Murphy. One out, the base is empty for him. Line drive, base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Max Muncy up next for the A's. We've got a substitution at first. On to run for Oakland. Christian Pache. Check on the runner. Pache. In back there. in on a dive. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game. The pitch out. run game here at the top of the ninth. And that one gets past the catcher. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Freedom. Appears they're working around it with the base open, singing. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Whips it to first. That's the second out. Here's Lazaro Armenteros. And, Boog, I'd say he's due. to first Rizzo over to pick it up Rizzo takes it to the bat and that is that back at Yankee Stadium here's Glaber Torres so a new pitcher on the mound for the A's Danny Jimenez he last pitched four days ago so he should feel pretty fresh you'll want and there's a foul ball Swing and a miss. And they 
get the leadoff man of the night. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered in this game. Lifted in the air, out to left. Puts it away for the out. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Next pitch is inside, and it's 3-0. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Helpful. And a swing and a miss. Let's go. Is the ball game. So the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, All right. Here, and you got yourself a little bit of. Yo, I, I like that rookie though. He's Let's different. He's place. definitely different. Let's take that series again. And your final score here today, two one. He does get the win. That's good. All right, so our next one's going to be We'll go to Dustin May. That's, that'll be the next episode. We'll get to see what Dustin May looks like. Appreciate y'all tuning in. As always, you want to catch the live stream, we stream it live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Falcons for Life. Any comments, suggestions, requests, questions, leave a comment down below. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.